HitFilm Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to do this face tracking tutorial. All right, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take my video game footage and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say make into a composite shot and I'm going to click OK. All right, now you don't have to track onto a video game. You can track onto um, anything you want. You can put a face on another face. You can put a face on a car or a tree or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay. All right, obviously the beginning here of this I don't need. It's only when my character shows up that I need to actually do that, and that's about right here. So I'm just going to right-click right here, and I'm going to slice that. I could also use the slice tool, okay? What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to track this guy all the way along. So I'm going to twirl it open, and under tracks, I'm going to hit the little plus icon. You can see that it shifts over to the layer tab and also it gives me my tracking stuff. I'm going to use my mouse wheel to scroll in and I'm going to grab that with my mouse and drag it down here. Right clicking on my mouse will allow me to drag this thing around and I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. And what I want to do is, is I want to track a piece of this. So I'm going to make this really small, okay? I want it to basically just simply track the blue on the yellow. Okay, and I want that to track it within this, okay, this box, all right? Now, this is, because it's a video game, it's a little blurry, it's not that good of a quality, it's going to take some time, and it's going to be difficult, but I'm going to start tracking like this, and I'm going to have to help it along, and I'm going to basically track this entire thing until it's completely tracked. Okay, so now I have completed the track, okay, all the way through. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new point layer. And I am actually going to name it track like this, okay. And I'm only going to need that point to be in place here. I've also flipped back over to the viewer tab. And under the tracking data that I have accumulated, I am going to say transform that to that point, the track point, and apply, okay? So now if you click on the track point, what you will find is that track point itself will follow, okay, everywhere that I go. Watch how this tracks, okay? See like this, okay? But my guy turns around, he turns this way, he turns that way, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do, boom, is I'm going to flip the scale, the X property of the scale of the point. That way, whatever I attach to it will also flip 180 degrees on the horizontal plane, right? So, for example, as soon as my guy turns right there, what I'm going to do is on the track point is I'm going to keyframe the scale. When he turns right there, I'm just going to make this, I'm going to break this, and I'm going to make this negative 100 so that it flips around, okay? Then when it flips back right there, I'm going to make it 100. That way the point itself flips, okay? Now, what I want to do is, is I want to make all of these keyframes constant so that way it only turns when that keyframe happens, okay? And if I zoom in a little bit, you can see what I'm talking about here. Boom, right there. See how the keyframe flips. That will make my life a lot easier when it comes to putting the picture on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of that, and I'll be right back. All right, so now I have done that. So if you look at the track point here, you can see that when I turn, it turns. When my character turns, it turns, right? Every single time that 
this turns, then the point flips around also using those keyframes that are constant. I have done that manually. So now I can bring in my picture. And what I've done is, is I just took a picture of myself and I'm going to bring this out and I'm going to put it here on here. The first thing I want to do is I want to make it uh, so that I am looking in the right direction. And then I'm just going to mask myself out of this picture. So now that I have actually masked my face out of the picture, all I have to do is resize it. So I will knock the scale down to about um, five by five. Okay, very tiny. All right, and then I'm gonna come back to the very beginning, okay, where I am at right here, and I am going to parent this to the track point, okay? Now I'll have to flip that around because it started off that way, and then I just need to sort of move the anchor point to where it is actually directly over the place where I want it to be, okay? And I'll maybe zoom in here a little bit and make some adjustment yeah, so that it's like sitting right there. So now that it's tr parented to the track point, it really will end up working out perfectly well. And it will just follow that track point. And notice that because it's parented to the track point, whenever my point flips over, it flips over too. And that's how I can create it going from one point or one side to the other side and that sort of thing, right? Very simple, right? Now, you can do this with anything. It doesn't have to be a video game. It can be a face on a face or whatever, but basically that's it in a nutshell. That's how you add a face to a tracked point on a video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.